look what I got today. We're gonna install this right now. The first step is to open up your panel. And one trick I learned is you have to pull it and then you push it down. And then what that'll do is it'll stay up like that. And if you look at the bottom of it, there's gonna be actually like circular holes. And you could punch that out and you could put something like a, like a bracket that can hold the conduit. So once you set that L shaped pipe, uh, you just wanna use PVC glue or um, they have other names for it. And then you also want to use a bracket. And, and what we did was I believe every about uh, three feet, we put a bracket just so that it's not putting so much weight and tension in one area. So you're gonna just do it all over, all the way. Mine was about, probably about 25 feet all the way across. And then you put another L-shaped and then you wanna put another bracket so that you could put it on your charging bracket. And then you want to mount the, the Tesla bracket onto the, the wall or wherever you're doing it. So I fed the wire and then just push it down. And then this is actually already coated, so it's super slick. So really, really easy to feed these wires. We're gonna get started with the ground. Um, cable man management is really important, so you don't want too much slack or anything. So once you measure how much you need, cut your wire, and then we're gonna start grounding this, right? So once that's done, what you wanna do is you wanna loosen up the three um, screws that holds the wires. And you're gonna be doing the exact same thing. And what we did was we came from the top. So you just want enough slack to do that, but you wanna strip the wire and there's again three wires there's going to be l1 and l2 so two hot and one ground right so finally we're ready to put the charger on uh, it just kind of slots in and there's actually four screws that holds it on right so it's like it's going to be two in the top and two in the bottom and you just want to hand tighten it first and then go with your uh impact drill and then just kind of tighten it just a little bit more right and these are provided by tesla all right so we're finally done the charger is installed 